So here's one of the non-performing note deals that I am working on right now. Um, I'm currently in my due diligence phase. I got my bid accepted to buy this mortgage note in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Now, as you can see here, it's a pretty nice looking property. Uh, it's an older home. I think it's around 100 years old, but it's been really well maintained. Uh, looks really good uh, from the outside. Nice landscaping, you know, everything looks pretty decent on this here property. Um, and based on the seller's information, I still have to do my own uh, verifications of all of this, but the, the seller's information and based on Zillow, uh, the property's worth around 325,000. And this current borrower uh, has not made a payment on their mortgage note uh, for 57 months. So they are quite a bit behind. I think it, around 2019, November 2019 was the last payment they made on their mortgage. And so this note was part of a, I believe it was part of a large package of notes that the current seller uh, had purchased. So they bought a whole whack of notes and now they're selling off some of the assets that they don't have the ability to complete. Okay, so uh, this one here, uh, the balance owing on this mortgage note isn't very large compared to the property value. It's like around third of the value of the property at 117,000. Okay, so that's how much the owners of this home owe on their mortgage. Okay, they owe 117. They haven't made any payments for 57 months. It's almost five years. Um, and that 117 includes all of the missed payments that they haven't been making plus accrued interest late fees all of that all of the costs okay uh, so that's how much the borrower owes and the foreclosure process has just been started by the current owner of this mortgage note okay so they've started foreclosure and it's in the very early stages of foreclosure and it's estimated that we can complete this foreclosure if we were to buy this note we can complete this foreclosure in about a year about 11 months okay so i'm still verifying all of this, but that's what's expected. Okay, so my bid that I made to buy this note, so remember, I'm not buying the property, I'm buying the note. Uh, I've got an accepted bid for 92,000. Okay, so if we were to buy this note and complete this transaction, now we would be the owner of the note, the borrowers would owe us that 117,000, okay? The house is worth, well, three times as much, essentially, 325K, so there's tons of equity there. So that puts us as the note owners in really good equity position because there's an asset securing our investment worth way more than the investment amount of 92,000, right? So I love that, a lot of equity there, a lot of security. So the plan would be to just continue the foreclosure, carry it out through to, through to the end and sell off the property at the foreclosure auction, okay? and. If it's worth 325 and we're only owed 117, the chances of this property selling in foreclosure for above 117 is very, very high, right? If it's a nice property, investors are gonna be bidding 70, 80, 90 cents on the dollar uh, on that 325K value. So there's pretty much guaranteed this thing is gonna sell off at the foreclosure auction and we would be able to recoup that 117K that's owing on the note, okay? So when you buy a note and you foreclose, um, you're not gonna get the entire uh, amount of equity. You're only gonna be able to collect that 117,000 plus some foreclosure costs and stuff like that, okay? But if I were to buy this note at 92K and recover that 117K in a year when the foreclosure is completed, that's about 20K in profit after all the costs um, are included in there for foreclosure and holding costs and stuff like that, servicing costs. Um, and that works out to about a 22% return, okay? So, and that's the great thing about note investing. I don't really have to worry about the property. Um, I'm basically just gonna be working with the attorney to complete the foreclosure, okay? Now, with this borrower having such high equity, um, they probably know that their house is worth 300000 so they may end up just selling the house off before it forecloses, and in that case, if they did that, if they sold the house, um, we would still get our 117 k all right, so that's great. Um, they may go into bankruptcy, and so that might be a situation where part of the bankruptcy would include this, this mortgage, uh, and they'd be on a payment plan to start paying us again. Uh, so that might be an option as well, which wouldn't be that bad. So a lot of options. And then the, the third option, which I think is pretty unlikely, would be to negotiate with this property owner 
and say, look, you know, we're going to foreclose. Um, we could give you some cash to walk away from the deal, uh, walk away from the house, and then you wouldn't have a foreclosure on your record and on your credit, impacting your credit for the next seven years. You know, let's negotiate how much cash we can give you to walk away and deed us the property. Okay, so with this much equity, that's probably not going to happen, um, but it might be another option. And then we'd own the property and probably just want to sell it off. Okay, so nice little deal here in the works in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. This is why I love note investing, both in performing notes, in this case, a non-performing note where we would just end up completing the foreclosure.